Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've vlogged. I kind of took a few days off for Christmas. Of course, Rocco drinks water right when I turn on the camera. Okay, <laughs> I took a few days off around Christmas time just to spend it with my family and also I was posting a lot of videos like right before Christmas so I just decided to take some time off because I knew I didn't want to vlog actual Christmas day and like Christmas Eve and stuff because I like to just relax and spend it with family so that's exactly what i did and i loved it i had such a good christmas and christmas eve which is also keiko's birthday i did a little um like tiktok vlog on his birthday slash christmas eve so if you want to go see what we did then then go watch that but yeah it was a really good holiday season we still have one more christmas to attend on the 30th which is keiko's dad's family side of the family and like all his siblings and stuff so we went to his mom's my mom's my dad's and then we still have his dad's we always have like four different christmases which is awesome and i have no complaints about that so today's the 28th though yesterday was rocco's birthday also today's my sister's birthday there's just a lot going on but i don't think i'm getting together with my sister today she's just doing her own thing with her family i hope you all had a great christmas holiday season and it's almost new year's eve which is crazy i thought i would just do a couple days of vlogging because there are some things that I want to do. I'm debating on when I should take down the Christmas decor because I'm gonna do it definitely before January 1st. I just don't know when. Maybe today. Maybe I'll start today and we'll see. I also want to start some things in the nursery that I've been waiting to do but I might wait for Keiko to come home tomorrow to do that. So yeah. Fun time around here. Keiko got me these eye patches for Christmas from Amazon. They're so good. I'll link them below. They're so thick and like luxurious and they're pink so cute. But they're like collagen producing under eye masks or something. I don't know. They just feel so good. I've been doing them every single day and I'm obsessed with them. But I'm 32 weeks pregnant today. Today's Wednesday so another week of being pregnant. Officially eight months also. So crazy that we literally get to meet this baby in eight weeks plus or minus a couple probably no idea which is fun because that's a good waiting game to play but <sighs> the belly is bellying the baby's babying the belly's getting big too definitely something i'm getting used to yeah the third trimester is just crazy i just realized i never did a second trimester q a i asked for the questions and i have all the questions but i never did it so maybe i'll answer some in this video instead of doing like a whole separate or maybe i'll do a separate i don't know We'll see. I'm gonna make some breakfast and coffee or matcha. I haven't decided yet. Probably matcha because it's easier and I don't feel like cleaning the coffee machine. <laughs> and I'm gonna make a bagel. So let's get into that and start this vlog off. Welcome back. or matcha guys i can't decide i think i'm gonna do matcha because like i said i don't feel like cleaning the coffee machine <laughs> when i make it so does anyone else have this maple syrup from trader joe's because i can never open it because the syrup like dries along the ridges inside and uh, it literally crystallizes the lid to the bottle. Okay, there we go. But I always do a little bit of oat milk. Well, oat milk and then a little bit of syrup as the sweetener. And I always wipe it off in hopes that it won't get stuck next time, but it always does. Peak Tea Sun Goddess Matcha Sticks. Always. These are the go-to. Love them so much. I love that they're individually packaged. They're perfect. I have no complaints. <laughs> the game changer is using your espresso for the hot water because I never did that before. You just do that for five seconds and then I'll froth the milk and the syrup. Okay, and then we got this mug from Christmas. My sister Brittany goes my secret Santa, so she gave me this and then a couple other things, and it's so cute. It's like holographic, ribbed little mug, and it comes with this lid also, which is so cute, I'm obsessed, but I'm gonna use this today. Okay, she got it for me in mind of me and my matcha. I need cinnamon. I always forget. I don't, I remember right when I'm about to drink it. So, now let's taste test. So good, I'm gonna stir it up though. I have this Kite Hill Dairy Free Chive Cream Cheese. 
and it is so good. I'm not a huge fan of their regular dairy-free cream cheese, but oh hi! Like I said, it was Rockwood's birthday yesterday, and I got him this little like cookie cake from PetSmart, and I'm gonna give him this piece. Look how cute! It has the frosting and sprinkles on it. Oh, what a piece coming! Other paw. Uh-uh. Other paw. Nope. Other paw. Other paw. Oh. No. Okay, fine. Gentle. Good boy. Gonna eat breakfast. Even though I should be eating lunch because it's literally 11.30. Because I got out of bed at like 10 today. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's new. Okay, guys. It is the next day. I am so sorry. I <laughs> did not vlog yesterday because I was so busy doing things that... I just was like, I cannot pick up the camera or I will lose all of my cleaning motivation. I literally cleaned the whole house. Well, I took down all the Christmas decor, put all of it away, organized, reorganized, put everything back in its places, and then cleaned and did a bunch of laundry. I organized the pantry also. And the house just looks so good right now and like minimal and simplistic and don't get me wrong I love the Christmas decor, but I love how minimal it looks in here now because it's all put away And yeah, I think I was in like major nesting mode yesterday because all I wanted to do was clean and organize and that's what I did So I'm gonna give you a little rundown. It's also 10 a.m. Thursday, January January Thursday December 29th. This is clean laundry that there's a couple more loads in the washer that I need to finish. Kitchen is bright and white and clean. So is the dining room. Living room is also pretty organized. It's not 100% organized because there's still a lot of random stuff on that shelf, but also we need to take those down still, but that's it. Simple it looks now, and I just opened the curtains really wide because <laughs> it's so gloomy outside and it's supposed to rain, so I wanted all the light that I can get in here. This little table is also back to normal. The thing is, I wanted to start doing the nitty gritty of the nursery, but I didn't want to start that until all the Christmas decor was put away. I think you know what I mean. So yeah, welcome back to the channel. I'm so out of breath from just talking. Um, Keiko came back from work today. He brought me Chick-fil-A for breakfast. So I literally just ate that in bed and he went to go surf. And then we have an OB appointment later at 1.20. Okay, I'm gonna use the blue bottle decaf. Espresso beans. I know you can drink some caffeine while pregnant, but if I have decaf, I'm gonna use it, so. Because I can always take a nap later in the day if I really need it. I got this little shot glass from CB2 the other day, and it's literally the cutest thing ever. I was with my friend, Celise. We bought each other each an espresso shot glass and then this mixing spoon, and best, best Christmas gift ever. It's just the cutest thing ever. Is it necessary? No. This coffee shop in San Diego called Blue, not Blue Bottle. Oh, Bird Rock. Bird Rock Coffee Roasters and it's their left coast which is their salted caramel syrup and there is water vanilla extract vanilla paste salt sugar and citric acid and it's so good i love it they sell them online too i actually just got it shipped to me so that means anybody can get it shipped so i'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested they have a few other flavors too i also have this one this is their madagascar vanilla it's water madagascar vanilla paste sugar and citric acid okay guys one thing about me is that laundry is a task i'll either be so motivated to do and do 50 loads in a day or I'll let my laundry pile up for months. Okay, not months, maybe weeks because it's just something I don't want to do. Ever since I started using Earth Breeze, I have been enjoying doing laundry, you guys. I'm so excited to tell you how amazing this is and what it is and like why I just love it. Okay, we had to take a quick pause because my battery was dying. So the lighting might have gotten a little bit darker because it is a little bit later now, but back into what I was talking about. So Earth Breeze is basically saying bye-bye to old-fashioned laundry detergent. I love them so much. I will be using them for the foreseeable future. And yeah, thank you Earth Breeze for so 
sponsoring this video. If you didn't know, just fun fact, over 700 million laundry detergent liquid jugs end up in our oceans and our landfill every single year. Not to mention, just the hassle of lugging a jug of liquid laundry detergent home by yourself, especially pregnant is not fun and not something i will be doing ever again also liquid detergent contains about 90 percent water which doesn't make any sense because your washing machine uses water anyway so why would they add extra water to it so their powerful eco sheets actually look like dryer sheets but they are not they are full laundry detergent they dissolve 100 percent in hot or cold water and in any type of washing machine and i love them they're so easy to use you guys i'm obsessed i'm also going to show you how easily this dissolves underwater really quickly. So I'm gonna place this in here, hot or cold water. So I'm just gonna turn on my faucet. And spray. And I'm so excited to be putting all of you on this product. There's no measuring, no mess, no sticky, gooey liquid detergent. All you do is literally throw it in the washer with your clothes. So this is literally what the packaging is. This is what the sheets come in. It is so compact. This compared to a laundry detergent liquid jug, I just, I, it's not even comparable. And I don't even have one to show you to compare next to because I haven't been using them because I've had these. Their packaging is also biodegradable and plastic free. You can literally rip it just to show you that it is 100% paper. They also have really flexible subscription offers on their website so you can cancel, adjust your subscription however you need to. They also have something called their buy one give 10 initiative which I love. So each purchase donates 10 loads of laundry detergent to a charity of your choice and if for some reason you aren't satisfied with your purchase they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back. Most importantly there's just no reason not to switch to their eco sheets, they seriously give the best clean, the best deodorizers, I'm obsessed. I also love that they have a fragrance free option, which is what I have. If you don't know, I am 32 weeks pregnant, so I have started nesting as they call it, and I have been washing all of our baby's clothes and just getting everything ready and organized in the nursery. And obviously I wanted to use a fragrance free detergent option because baby skin is so sensitive, so I'm so happy they had fragrance free. And this is what I've been using to wash baby boy's clothes, and it's just been so easy, and I know for sure that the clothes are getting such a powerful clean, and I also feel better because I know this is a very clean product. So you can go to earthbreeze.com slash lauren to get 40% off of your first purchase. That's earthbreeze.com slash lauren to get 40% off of your subscription, which is an amazing deal. So I am caught up on baby boy's laundry, but I'm going to be showing you how to work this baby in <laughs> my load of laundry. Since it is a pretty full load, I'm gonna be using a full sheet like this, but if it is a smaller load, they say that you should rip this in half and only use half. This is one sheet right here. I'm literally just gonna throw it in, close it up, and start it. No mess, no sticky fingers, no sticky little detergent cup. It's the best. <laughs> okay, we are in the nursery now. I just put in the last load of laundry and folded a load that was in there. But I wanna start the baby's laundry today, and I'm really excited, so that's why we're in here. And I'm out of breath because I just walked up the stairs. The shortness of breath is real, you guys. If you haven't experienced it, it's real. While I catch my breath, let's just look at this for a second. He's literally in here, and he looks like that. So wild to me. But so we got a mobile sent to us by brand. I've unboxed it in another video, but I've finally just set it up. So I'm going to show you what it looks like because it's the sweetest thing ever. Look at this, you guys. I'll have the link below for it. You can customize. Well, you, not customize, but you can choose between like five different versions of this little boy in the middle. And they also have a girl version now. And it's just so cute. My sister's like, what if he doesn't like to surf? I'm like, well, he's going to have to. He doesn't really have a choice because everything is surf themed. But like neutral, subtle, cute surf themed. Wow. I'm so winded. We also got these. They are drawer organizers for these drawers. Um, mainly like the big ones, but a bunch of these for when we start organizing all the stuff, which is going to be soon. We've got the rug, which I haven't laid down yet just because I'm going to wait a little bit until more stuff is set up. We also got the um, car seat in because my dad gifted it to us. So we are really excited about that. So we have it in the garage. We just need to unbox it. But we're going to do that today once Keiko gets back. So I'm really excited. This is his whole stack of clothes. And you guys, it is huge. There are so many clothes. So I'm going to go through. I'm trying to move this rug. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna go through and separate lights from darks and stuff because I'm not just gonna throw it all in together. I'm like kind of bad at this. Like, is this considered a light or a dark? Or should I do darks, lights, and colors? We got this set. Oh, I almost just said his name. So this year for Christmas, we decided to do Secret Santa between all of the cousins, like the nieces and nephews. And Baby Boy was a part of that this year. This is what he got for Christmas. It's a little matching set from H&M. Black sweats and black crew, so cute. Um, we got a huge bag of clothes from one of Keiko's captains at work. And he gave us a bunch of his baby boy's old clothes. So we're going through those now. I'll show you some things. Are you serious? Mommy's little hero with the fire truck. <laughs> Obviously it's fire themed. And then this sweet little piece, so cute. Got this little top, it says little chief on it. And then we have these overalls that are so cute. I don't even know what brand these are. Oh, Faded Glory. Isn't that like, I wanna say Walmart. It might be Walmart. These are really cute. Look at these. This, adorable. You can tell it's like used and loved, which I love, but it has little bananas all over it. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. Got these little blue shorts. These are from Zara. Gore. They're little pants. Little corduroy pants. Precious. And then these pieces we got sent from Kite Baby, which is a dream. Baby boys working with Kite Baby. Not working with them, but we got sent some sweet pieces. So we got this sleep bag that they sent us. I'm so obsessed. My sister uses these for her babies and she loves them. Once they get a little bit older and like out of the actual swaddle so i'm really excited to use this they're so soft i'm obsessed then they sent over this coffee color they're all zip onesies which i love this one's like a really really light gray which i love and then this one is a really really light blue which is really pretty and then i got these pieces from aziel and luca or aziel and luca i don't know how you say it it actually comes with a matching adult set i got that in extra large because i thought it came with the drawstring and the pants but it doesn't so they're really really big so i guess it's gonna be a daddy in sun matching moments because I, it's gonna be too big for me. The crew neck will fit me, but look at how cute this is. These are from Luna and Luca. This might be his going home outfit. We'll see. Or this set. Also got this from Baby Gap. Of course, the Sherpa Bear onesies. And that's all the pieces that I got recently. So now I'm gonna go through everything and wash and all of that. Okay, I literally just eyeballed this whole thing and after 20 holes in the wall, we finally got it to where I think it looks really cute. I'm obsessed. These palm trees are handmade from Etsy. I'll link them below. They were kind of pricey, but I think they're so cute. Statement piece in this room, so I think they're adorable. And then these two prints are from Desenio. I showed them in when I unboxed the thing. This one says, here comes the sun. This is literally my favorite print ever. The little baby turtle. There's that wall, and I think it's adorable. And then I wanna hang these two prints, but I think I'm just gonna do them right there on top of each other. So let's do that. Hey, we're unboxing the car seats. Huh? Can I see? Yes? Yeah. I just came back. More deck. Not for you! I'm trying to welcome. This is a different color, I think. We'll see. Let's pull the box back. Not the right color. Oh, it is. Okay, this vlog has been insanely a fail. 
But Happy New Year's Eve. It is the 31st and tomorrow's the start of 2023, which is insane. I wanna show you the progress that I've made. And there's your, have I even shown you? Okay, so we hung these and I'm obsessed with them. They look so cute, you guys. So that's hung. These are also hung. These four little knobs, um, wall hooks that I got from Amazon and then I just hung two of his cute little pieces. Also, you can't really see over here, but we hung those three, those two pictures and then that palm tree as well. <clears throat> and then down here, I put his bookshelves and I like that they're like low. So if I'm like sitting on the floor with him, I can just grab them. And also they didn't fit anywhere else. So <laughs> that's why they're there. But we've been washing and hanging, drying clothes um i'm mainly just hang drying like the bamboo material things i did like all neutrals and like whites and lights and i hung hang, hung dry everything but that was a lot of work so mainly just the like expensive pieces and the stuff that i know will shrink if i dry it in the dryer these are all kite baby the car seat you guys makes me so happy just looking at it i'm obsessed so this is the nuna pippa rx and it's the hazelwood color online i will say it looks a little bit more tan in the pictures um than it does in person it looks a little more gray toned like cool toned in person but i'm growing to really like it i literally opened the box and i was like i think this is the wrong one like it looked so different than the pictures but now that i'm looking at it and i like compared the picture and the thing side by side and it like it pretty much looks the same i just expected kind of a different color but i'm obsessed i love this so so much and just looking at it makes me so happy rock was whining because keiko is in the backyard playing with his new golf net but these are all washed and dried so on to organization we have all these little containers organizers from amazon they fit perfectly in these top four drawers and there's really nothing in these ones so i'm not gonna like show you organization yet but this is just random stuff we got this sent this from tubby todd which i'm excited about these are all of his beanies this will be his sock drawer teethers pacifier clips pacifiers and who knows what else will go up here but that's for a later day so i'll link them below if you have this same dresser that everyone uses for their nursery really 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 good love it we bought it off of offer up with facebook marketplace so it's resold but it's perfectly fine and then these little knobs again are from etsy and i love them here's the first drawer that we started organizing this is all newborn and then this will be zero to three and then everything bigger is going in there for now and then we'll like switch them out as time comes but yeah we got these dividers from amazon as well we have them organized so these are footies like zipper footies these are pants tops long sleeve bodysuits and rompers and then these will be short sleeve bodysuits and then the same thing over here but for zero to three that's exciting i need to put, put those away and then also organize the ones that were thrown in here because i didn't have any more drawer organizers but i just bought some <laughs> this has basically nothing in it love every sent over their first age group of toys so that's what's in here i just took them out of the box so that's cute and then this just has other random stuff we have wraps carriers nursing pillow and the adapter for the car seat onto the stroller and then extra baby little sheets but they're for like the different size conversions of the crib but since we're we have it built as the full size crib we don't need the smaller sheets obviously okay so we went to target today and i picked up this come here okay okay you okay daddy does side daddy does side you okay my son sit Yes, good boy. Got this basket from the Target today. This will be his hamper. So cute, I'm obsessed with it. Like I said, we ordered more of these from Amazon. And then we also ordered a label printer. This is normally like $40, I think, on Amazon, but it was on sale for $25, and it's really, really cool. Um, so I wanna like label the sides of the drawers inside of like where, what everything is and like what I explained to you basically. But it's really cool because you can hook it up to your phone and Bluetooth and demo the app and then print it from there. So I love that. Couple other things I got, not baby related. Oh, actually, one more baby related thing. I told, I said I would never buy socks, but here I am because these are so cute and I just feel like he needs some, you know, just in case. I just heard that they fall off too easily and I know Rock was gonna be stealing them, but I just had to buy some socks, so I did. I also got these three tops. I was in need of just like a regular white comfy long sleeve top. So this is an extra large in the A New Day brand. Super soft and comfy. And then these two are just regular t-shirts also from the A New Day brand. So soft, they're like ribbed. This is an extra large. I just think they'd be comfy. They're stretchy. I can wear this with like these sweats and like tuck it in. 
I just have no like t-shirts that will tuck into pants and then that like cover the bump. This is like a brown taupey color, but this is in a large because they didn't have extra larges and these are only $8, but they're so soft and comfy. Let's hope they look like close up. Oh, this was my fit today. These are from Target. This is from Prince Polly. So Happy New Year, guys. It's January 1st, and it doesn't really feel any different to me, but I feel like that's fine because I'm excited about 2023, and I have so many things to look forward to in it, so I'm so out of breath, but <laughs> what's new? We did lay the rug down. We, I laid the rug down yesterday. I'm trying to get it to flatten out so I have things like all over the corners, but I finished doing, excuse me, can I have it? Okay, as I was kind of saying, I did basically all of his laundry now. I just need to put away this stuff. Rocco, no. So this is all his sparks and colors, and these are all three to six months and up clothes because newborn to zero to three are all in the dresser, and these are all going to be hung. So I'm just going to put them all in hangers and start doing this. So happy new year. I made myself a little hot matcha this morning and it's hitting. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn on some music or a video, excuse me, and start hanging all these clothes. Yeah, we're going to watch a video. Okay, you guys, everything is hung now. This is all three to six, and then this is six to nine. This is nine to 12. And then I have little swim trunks over here, which I'm just going to put in the dresser because they're so tiny. I'm obsessed with these. We're actually going on a huge family trip to Cabo next summer. Um, so baby boy will be like four months old. So he'll definitely be in these little trunks. These are so cute. I've talked about these in like every vlog that I've shown them, but they're from Forever French Baby. These three are. And then this one is from, I forgot where I got it, but this is the brand. But I got it from like a little random boutique. All so cute, but these need to go and get folded and put in the dresser. I'm going to hang all these in the closet now. quality footage but I forgot to end off this vlog so I just wanted to pop in here really quickly and say thank you guys so much for watching my very first prep for baby video with me I'm so excited about this little mini series I don't even know how many more videos there will be like this because I feel like I did so much already but I know once the time comes and I get a lot closer to my due date obviously I'll be doing a lot more of the smaller things that you don't think of like sterilizing bottles and pump parts and pacifiers and making little diaper caddies and all that fun stuff so that is very exciting so that will be the future content from now on I will be 33 weeks pregnant tomorrow so it's going by so extremely fast and we're almost literally at weekly appointments at this point which is insane to me but yeah make sure you're subscribed also happy new year because it's the first vlog of the new year on my channel and I just can't wait to see what 2023 has in store for me and for all of us and for my channel and yeah I love you guys so much make sure you subscribed for all the future really fun content and I love you all so much